last leg day right here. Mm -hmm. Second to last workout at old school. Good. <laughs> Tired. Last dinner. Yes, and I get sweet potato. That char. Yum. Finally some carbs. <laughs> you ready for tomorrow? What's your game plan for tomorrow? For what? While traveling and eating and stuff. Fast as long as possible. <laughs> How long do you think you'll make it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have very much food tomorrow, so. Uh, fast. Gum? Are you no. No, no gum, no separate. carbonation, just water and coffee. Nine o'clock Eastern time, but we're about to get after it. And I've had like 400 calories today. <laughs> oh, kill me. <laughs> How are you feeling? Good. Where are we? Good to me. But at 24 hour fitness, they have so much equipment. Yeah. I'm so impressed. Yeah. Blue. Last workout done. Last workout of prep since April. <laughs> it is now November. <laughs> Very excited. Yeah. Ready? Yes. Yeah. Let's go get some fish. Lunch on the balcony. This view. Got a poke salad with ahi tuna, some salmon egg things, <laughs> pineapple, papaya, yum, some tofu, salmon, yum. Athlete check-ins. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go. more reflecting um i've been in prep since april april it is now november <laughs> i did my first show in august so it's been a long year um i uh goodness it's been long um really hard prep um just mentally physically pushing myself to the absolute max um and trying to coach my girls at the same time um, and, you know, be there for Beckon as well as I help her grow into her coaching business. Um, so it's been long. It's been a long journey and I can't believe it's finally coming to an end. Um, I think it's been weird these past couple days here in Hawaii. Um, like, it's hard to be like, so excited like I obviously I was excited for the show but like mentally I was like done <laughs> um, and like just ready to be like at the finish line already so it, sh it was just weird um, so like energy is just like low um, that could be from the food too <laughs> and the time change but uh, it's been weird so yeah I'm I'm just so happy with how my second season on the pro stage has gone. Um, learning new things every day um, about myself as a competitor, as a coach, and just trying to do everything I can to come to the better, best Kiki there is. Um, 
and I know what I need to work on for next season. Um, a lot of it is just mental, um, so I can display the best Kiki on stage. Um, this is by far the best physique. Um, Janelle is a, a wizard. She knows what she's doing um, with my body, and I trust her fully there. So this is on me in terms of getting my head right, um, making sure I'm being selfish for myself as well. That's one thing I definitely didn't do so great this season was balancing um, clients and myself. Um, for the most part, I tend to just pour all of my energy into um, my athletes and I don't really make sure I'm taking care of myself. So I need to work on that. Um, again, need to work on my overall presentation on stage, just owning the stage and having fun. Um, I, this is my job. So it's like, I'm such a like hard ass and a fucking bull that um, I just head down focused and that's how I am on stage too. So I need to display the fun Kiki because I do love this sport. Um, and I just need to display that on, on stage. Um, so confidence is where it's gonna come from. Um, Lucia was actually in front of me in line today. And like, she is just such a uh, fun and like confident person and just like her energy was what I needed. And I, I was joking with her, I was like, dang Lucia, I have to stand behind you and go right behind you. And she was like, Kiki, no. You bring what you want the judges to see on stage. You have to believe in yourself first. She was giving me a hype up backstage and just kept going on and on about, you know, it doesn't matter who's beside you or what's doing. If you're not confident in yourself, um, you're not going to be able to display that on stage and you're not gonna be able to have the judges believe you. And, uh, you know, so, um, it was it was really cool. I needed it and I was like, yes, ma'am <laughs> I will be confident. I will be confident and it was it's so exciting because when they did the call outs They did number five number 11, which is her and then number 12, which was me. So that was just super exciting um, And they immediately moved me out of I was in the middle and then they were like nope 12 on the other side. So whatever um, but it was just yeah, so the season 2023 it's coming to a close, or 2022, sorry. 2022 is coming to a close. Show food. That was good. That was a good bite. God, what was up? <laughs> Thoughts? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Official. Sixth place. <laughs> da 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 da. Da 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> Loco moco. Yum. Some sort of fried chicken, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Hello. 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 
Happy ending. <laughs> this was phenomenal. This was phenomenal. That was so good. What do you think? I'm still going. It's delicious. I know. I don't want to stop. So we have poke for dinner. Salmon and tuna. Down this little cute um, food truck little area. So we got a uh, hot dog coming and sushi for poke. So we got some fresh poke, fried rice with an egg, and ube mochi masada, and a cinnamon and sugar masada. Yum, look at this. Wow. It's so good. That's amazing. It's so good. The chewiness inside. Wow. It's like the moke because it's mochi masada. Okay, yeah. Alright, and this is the cinnamon sugar masada. That's so fluffy. Live reaction. Yeah. <laughs>